I'm Mandy Brown. This is my husband, Adrian, and we're new homeowners. So when we started looking for a house, it was really important to us to have some sort of outdoor space. We were pretty much sold on the house, but the backyard was essentially a sand pit. We've tried our hand at DIY a little bit, and what you see today is the outcome of that. We love living in San Francisco. It's busy at night. You know, there's tons of stuff to do during the day. For me, it would be really great if our yard reflected that, an outdoor space that we could actually enjoy in our home. Welcome to San Francisco. We're here by the bay in the heart of urban homeowning. Well, the yards may be small, but people's dreams are big. But when you're a new homeowner, like the Browns, creating that backyard paradise can seem a little bit out of reach. And that's why we're here, to turn their tired backyard into the perfect outdoor living space and teach them how to keep it that way. Let's go meet my team. Hi. Hey. Nice. Nice to meet you, William. Thank you. Finally. Nice to meet you. My name's Kate Reamer, and I'm a landscape designer in Los Angeles, California. This is my first time in San Francisco, so I'm blown away by the architecture. My name is Jesse Bruff, and I live in Portland, Oregon. I own a design build company up there. My passion is to do landscapes for folks that are going to draw them out into their yard, so I'm just ready to hit oh, this thing. I can't wait. Oh, man. Yeah. We're going to get along great. You know, and one of the things I want to make sure when we're done with this project mm -hmm. is that we create something that can really be maintained by them right. long term. Easy maintenance. These are new homeowners, right? Right. New yeah. homeowners. It's going to be Very really important, important that we teach them how to take care of it so it looks good not just tomorrow but next month years from now and they're still using the space so have you guys seen the space yet no, no. we're so excited okay you guys go to the backyard i'll go and meet the browns Let's and we'll see that. you soon okay, okay great, great. We'll thanks william soon. when we first walked back down here this place looked like a meteor landed on it and it just somebody left it wow this is a pretty cool yard huh oh man i love it i'm amazed that they have this much space back here this is like a designer's dream we have some great existing trees and we have some existing plant materials that we'll be able to work with this is great so I was just talking with the guys outside, and basically what we want to do is make your backyard an extension of your living area. That's what we want. It's a nice living space, but outside. Um, there's a back corner. We don't really know what we want to do with it, but it's a nice cozy spot. Okay, I don't like these planter boxes. We got to do something here. I think this is such a great living space in this corner of the yard. So you have this beautiful San Francisco view here, or you have some shade from the tree. Absolutely, some kind of livable destination would be great. Yeah. So who put the grass? I mean, did you guys get sod, or was it here when you got the house, or? So I started with seed, um, just put it on the dirt and kind of watered it, and yeah, hit or miss. Like there's some spots <laughs> with a lot of grass, some spots with yeah, minimal grass. You were like hand sewing it out there. Yes. Yeah. Like, Old school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this grass area here? What I'm seeing here is several problems. One of them being an infestation of both clover and bent grass, and it looks like the lawn is suffering from pet damage as well. I'm thinking we need to rip the whole thing out and reseed it. I'm not crazy about that patio that we inherited. It's yeah. cracked in different places and the color schematics are just awful. I think if it were a more beautiful place, I would probably spend more time back there. Being able to grow our own veggies in the backyard would be a huge help. Oh, it's nice over here. Nice and sunny. I'm liking it. Finally, some great sun in the yard. There's tons of sand in this planter and so I think we should just bring in some above ground planters and we could plant any vegetables and plants we want to plant. I think we have all the pieces to put pencil to paper. I love it. Let's do it. All right. I feel like the process of a design project is the people, the family, their lifestyle. Ta-da! This is the design for your backyard. Wow. Yeah, really cool. You guys have such a great yard with so much potential. And I know you're really into the vegetable garden. Yes. What I thought would be cool for that is the half wine barrel. Cool. And we like wine we too. Do. You're kind of in their family for that duration. We're going to have a nice clean patio, but we definitely want to dress it up yeah. with some pretty pots. These cobblestones that you had just kind of across the backyard, I actually love those. And I think we could reuse them. Very San Francisco. Really. And we have the fire pit there, and we'll have your four chairs so you could accommodate to all your guests. You have like three different fences going on. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna kind of disguise those. I think these are the ideas that we kind of have been searching for. We just needed a little little help. What do you think? We love it. This looks like it checks off every mark on the list. Oh, That's fantastic. So great. I love it. You guys ready to get dirty? Sounds like we're let's in for it. a lot of work. <laughs> all right. Let's okay, get let's started. do it. I really am excited to make them feel comfortable and really hold their hand and help them along the way through this install process. We're installing a backyard that they're actually going to be able to use. 